I want to sprinkle in a few extra things with this video. Um, notice that my rep modifier says 200%. Now, I, this is my admin account, so in this game, this is capped at 200%. If I switch over um, to the Mac Lab, I have upped that cred modifier to 300%, and you can see that this player, or simulated player, simulated hybrid player, and we'll talk more about that later, um, it is working its way up and the progress bar looks different and it's a different color. And yours starting out is red for danger. <laughs> Your rep is very low. Um, you know, I call it cred here. So the idea is these things are customizable. Hey, look, standings, upward facing arrow, exchange, come over here, scoreboard, trophy, store, and those same arrows back and forth. Um, so customizing this, settings, game setup, and um, you decide in the feature setup what features you want on. And right away you're going to say, I don't want to mess with the store, that's too complicated. Well, if you give away loot and you don't have a store, what are the players going to do with the loot? And yes, you can do pay to play, you can handle things in game, you can let them buy things. Hmm, I'll get to the store. Once you know how to make uh, quests and you know how to make inventory items, you know how to make store items and it's so easy. So I'll help you with some ideas to get started. You want that on. Uh, on this site, I want the forum on because I want you, uh, go ahead, email me, contact me. I'm happy to answer. But your question may be valuable to others. Hey, I had that question too. I'm glad someone asked that. There's the answer. So a forum can be real beneficial. And in a game with players, I don't start out the year with a forum, but after we've established a sense of community and we have this coherence in the room, then I start soliciting ideas. How can we make these quests better? How can I give you more options? You know, what, what would make this experience more rewarding and enriching? You know, it, it ha let them have some feedback. And it teaches them netiquette and all those other good things. And um, that, you know, how to write in complete sentences because, hey, this is public. So probably right now, you can play around with it, but for right now, probably not a good idea. Uh, here's where you decide. Uh, do I want my map on the home page? That's the default. Don't change that. You want your map on the home page. You can set up links for other stuff. This is where you want your custom home page. Maybe you want players there once in a while. Maybe you want parents there. Have a parent link on your home page. Much better. Um, and then we can go through this where you can change names and you can, you know, I've called mine uh, different things in the past. And um, I'm going to just change one thing the leaderboard. And right now it's called scoreboard. And I'm going to change that trophy. Click it on it. And then I'm just going to start typing up or just type up and it'll switch. And I want this symbol and I'm going to click update. So right away that has changed and you can see that you can begin to customize all this. And you might be saying, hey, that rep modifier, 200 percent. Hey, that rep modifier, 200. Where the heck do I do that? And I've shown you, but I've shown you an awful lot. We'll get to that next.